Hey YouTube, it's Mike Pang Gangster, and today we're going to talk a little bit about scripting and handicap. The reason why I'm doing this particular video right now, because I'm watching Nepenthes on Twitch, okay? And if you guys were watching him while this was happening, now I did mute him, but as you can see, I'm watching him. He's talking the, uh, here, and he's talking version. about... Just he's talking about scripting, like, okay? He's talking about scripting, he's talking about momentum, he's talking about uh, handicap, and so on, okay? Now, we all know Nepenthes does not believe in that, okay? It's okay. Everybody has their their choice of like what they want to believe and what they don't want to believe. Now, it's not Nepenthes' uh, fault if he doesn't believe in it. It's his personal opinion, right? So he doesn't believe in it. It's okay. It's like some people believe in certain things, some people don't. But what I don't like about Nepenthes, for example, like is what he said to his audience. If you believe in scripting, you're a moron. And one of his audience said to him, like, you don't have to call me an idiot. And Nepenthes replied to him, I didn't call you an idiot. I just said that if you believe, whoever believes in scripting, you're a moron. Okay? So, in other words, he's not saying that that guy is an idiot. But he's basically saying that he's a moron. So, I mean, it's pretty much the exact same thing, right? Because I guess the guy that was talking believed in scripting. So, you definitely are calling him a moron for believing something. So you ban people because people call you names because of what you believe, right? But then you do the exact same thing live on Twitch and then you say you don't do that, but you just did it, okay? So if people that were watching the stream today will know exactly what you said because you said it twice, because you even clarified it and saying that you're a moron if you believe in scripting, okay? So you basically are judging people on their beliefs, the way people judge you on your beliefs, right? So it works both ways, Nepenthes. You don't want to believe in something, but don't expect for people to be nice towards you when you don't believe in something that they believe, because you're definitely not nice towards them when they believe something you don't believe. Now, let's get to the other point. I think a lot of people mix up like scripting and handicap okay like if ever like I've, I've 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 spoken about this many times on my channel that i believe for example like an handicap if you ever ask me for example mike do you believe in scripting i would say no i don't believe in scripting mike do you believe in handicap i would say yes i believe in handicap let me explain the difference between scripting and handicap at least the way i see it i could be wrong but this is the way i see it right right remember my personal opinion I believe scripting would be something, for example, before the game starts, the game will be predetermined who already won and what will be the results. I don't believe that exists because that would be way too smart for you to actually be able to like, make a game happen exactly how they want it. Like, oh, this game is going to finish 3-1, right? Now, let's not watch... Well, whatever. Let's watch this, this preview, this commercial. Who cares? Um, I don't believe in that. But if you told me, Mike, you believe in handicap. So explain to me what handicap is. Well, handicap for me is very, very simple. Handicap for me, it's just basically a team that gets an advantage either before a game, during a game, based on momentum, something that Nepenthes doesn't believe. He doesn't believe in momentum. He will always tell his audience, prove it, prove it, prove me, show me, show me. If you show him something, it's not enough because whatever you show him, he will never believe it because he's one type of he has one type of mindset. It's his way and the only way, right? So he's the type of guy like if that's why I I would never be able to have an argument with this person because I'm ready to listen to a person talk to me and maybe say, oh, okay, maybe you're right. But the thing is, when the Pentis, if you talk to him, if he believes a certain thing, and no matter what you tell him, no matter what you prove to him. You will never believe it unless someone from EA says, look, look, look at the data here. This is how I script the games or this is how I handicap things. The thing is, we're never going to get that. So it's either you believe what people show you or you don't believe, right? Now, handicap is some sort of like disadvantage towards a certain opponent based on maybe something that happens during the game, maybe because of the previous games, he's on a, a losing streak. I'm not exactly sure how the handicap 
actually works and in which way who gets it who doesn't get it because I've noticed it that it's from one game to another could be completely different like I've noticed handicap also being in my favor for example I played games where everything I've done just seemed perfectly fine and my opponent is struggling just to make an A to B pass okay and then I'll play another game and I'm the one struggling to make an A to B pass every shot I take his goalie is saving it Every shot he's taking, my goalie can't save shit, and so on, right? So, what is that? And he will tell you something, for example, that's a RNG. It's just pure random shit that's happening. Now, you could be right. It could be that the game is completely coded, that everything that you do in this game is just completely random. But what I find strange, okay? If I take a shot with a guy that has 99 shooting, and he misses, and you'll be like, Mike, it's just RNG. It's normal that sometimes he's going to miss because if he never misses, the game will be completely nonsense, right? You would have to just click a button and that person would always shoot. And I would say, you know what? I 100% agree with what you're saying there. But let me ask you something. Why is every single shot I'm taking in that particular game all missing? Why is it that every shot I'm taking with, no matter which player I'm taking with, 99 shooting, 90 shooting, 85 shooting, they're all missing. What's happening here? Why is it all my team are missing all their shots? Oh, now it's a bit different, right? Because now it's not one particular shot that I missed. Now it's like seven, eight, nine shots in a game. Why is it that I have 17 shots versus two shots and I lost the game 2-1? What's happening? Why is the game telling me expected goals 6.0 when my opponent's expected goals are 0.2? What's happening here? Clearly, someone had an advantage in that game. Do you understand the difference between a RNG, between a shot and many, many shots? Like, this is where I feel like Nepenthes just doesn't, doesn't add, like, this doesn't catch, doesn't catch on on this. Like, he just doesn't get it. He thinks that, like, I understand what he's, what he's trying to, like, make a point with, like, for example, the RNG thing, because, you know, like, you can't always succeed everything, but it's the same thing with the passing. Why is it particular games, every single pass I'm doing, it just doesn't work. It's just getting intercepted constantly, right? It's just missing. It's just the, the ball is just randomly going out. Why is it that every single pass throughout a whole game? And then all of a sudden, in the second half or whatever it may be, I don't know why, everything starts to click. I start shooting. I start scoring. I start passing A to B. Everything starts to work perfectly fine. What's happening here? This is a momentum shift. But he doesn't believe in momentum. But you basically witness many games that you played throughout your life of FIFA, but you still don't believe that there's times during games where the game just fucking switches on you. But you don't believe it. Fine. Don't believe it. But at the end of the day, he asks us also the last question. Why would EA do this? And someone answered, well, for you to buy packs. And, EA, and uh, Nepenthes responded to the person and said, that wouldn't make sense. If you had a like a crazy team, and for example, like you would lose to a gold squad, um, why would that basically like want to make you want to spend more money on the game and buy better cards? And this is where Nepenthes makes a very good point towards that particular person, right? Now, I don't think handicap is based on for you to buy packs. Okay, for me, the only reason why I believe there's handicap in the game. It's because if the people that are not good at the game will constantly lose, okay, they will not play the game no more. So you have to give them some sort of reason to be able to play because if they lose every time they play, why would you want to continue playing? Because you know that no matter what you would have in your team, you would you basically would still lose constantly and that would not be fun, right? So that's the reason why I believe handicap exists in this game is to make it that even the players that are not as good as certain other skillful players to give them an advantage to be able to actually stick around in the game because that is very important to EA because if they can keep these people in their game, then maybe these people will be considering spending coins or, or money on packs. That's my personal opinion of why handicap exists in the game. I think it makes a lot of sense. I think they use the game, they do the game exactly like a casino. And what I mean by a casino, if ever you've spoken to somebody that runs a casino, they'll tell you, for example, how slot machines work. And slot machines work very, very simple. They work with a certain percentage 
that they give back to the uh, the consumers. Because if you only lose, nobody would ever want to play your machine. So what you do is you give a 5% win rate so that when people actually do win, they believe they have a chance of winning. But the reality is that 95% of the time you're going to be playing, you're going to be losing. But the thing is that you have to give them some hope of winning. Because if you don't, when they ain't going to come back to your casino. And when you look at this game, this game is run completely like a casino. Let me know if you guys agree. Leave a comment. Subscribe. Nepenthes, you want to reply? Reply. Again, I think I was fair. I don't think I spoke bad towards you. I think I just basically made a point. If you want to agree with it, you want to comment, go ahead. We can talk. I don't care. Let's go for it. Have a good day, guys. Bye-bye.